come to town? USA, baby. Crappie Town, USA. So I'm, uh, I'm just out here trying to pick up a few fish early this morning. It's been real slow these last few weeks. The water's been real hot, but last last two nights have been cooler. We've got a little bit of rain. Water's flat calm, uh, and water temperature's about 10 degree colder than than what it has been lately. So um, I've been trying to catch some crappie here one of my spots which has always been one of my best spots but the last three weeks of the month has turned up nothing just caught a nice black crappie so i did my best crappie sniper impression i said crappie town usa baby crappie town usa anyway um so that first one i'm just going to use for cut bait for channel cat but if I get into a mess of them here, I'm going to take them home and clean them up. I actually haven't had to clean fish since ice fishing season. But the freezer is finally starting to run a little low. And uh, so that's the goal today. But the next cool thing is, um, here in a couple of hours, the kids fish a derby in my hometown here where, I'm li where I live now uh, on our lake. They're doing a kids fishing derby, which they do every summer. And um, I'm now part of the organization that puts that on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully catch a few fish of my own this morning. Then I'm gonna go up and help measure and weigh uh, all the kids' fish, and uh, let some of these some some of these little kids get in on the action. So hopefully I'll get some footage and some photos from that too. So it should be a fun day. Now when you're crappie fishing, especially on this lake, you never know what you're gonna catch. You know, typically I do most of my crappie fishing with uh, bobber and minnows, um, sometimes some jigs, whatever, primarily out of a boat, but I just hit up a number of spots. And right now I'm at a spot where um, spring and fall has always been a real good crappie spot. But this morning, about half the fish that I'm catching, these guys. Channel cat, about pound, pound and a half, two pounds. Uh, and some of the small little fiddler cats too. And don't get me wrong, you know, fun to catch. They're good fighters. And this size, of, this size of channel cat is uh, actually uh, uh, just just about perfect in terms of, of eating fish. Um, but I'm pretty well stocked, so I'm gonna let them go. Uh, I'm trying to get more of them crappies, baby. Capitan USA, baby. Get back in the water, cutie pie. Ooh. Looks like I got the bite developing here on this on this rod. I'm using a circle hook. And it may just be one of them small fiddler cats, and my bait's on there. Um, it's a little too big to get in his mouth, the way he's acting, with it, the way he's tugging. See the way he's tugging, the way the line's jumping like that? Um, okay, now he's coming towards me. He's pulling away. But I haven't got that big bite that's really setting the hook. Oh, now I got Now I got it. I just had a bite on my other, my other catfish pole. Okay, so it seems like the bigger cats are moving in, which is what I'm hoping. But I got his cut bait crappie on these two poles. But... I fear um, my hook and bait is probably too big for whatever little guy is, is tugging on this line. But we'll see if he can manage to get in his mouth and I'll hook him up and, and we'll see what happens. I got tired of it, reeled it up, checked the bait. And look at, see, you can see he's been playing with it all and now my, my hook's all spun around and weird. This was a little piece of crappie cut bait. So as you can see, the way the way it's kind of set up now, the hook is re-embedded, and uh, the, the the bait's all flipped around. So I wasn't gonna get a hook set on this fish anyway, unless I was real lucky. So I'm gonna reset with a piece of fresh bait, 
out there and we'll see what we can do. Okay, that's a nice, yeah, there's a nice one out there, right there. He may go, uh, four or five. I'm not sure, maybe even a little more. Let's see if I can uh, get the net out on her. One second, please. Hold, please, while I get my net on this man. There we go. Let's get him in here. Yeah. That's a nice chunk out right there. That is a nice one. It's a fresh cut bait crappie. Good deal. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the scale out, get this guy unhooked, uh, snap a photo, get him weighed, get him back in the water. Good fish. Just a little over four pounds. Nice looking channel cat, nice and healthy. All right, got my photos. This nice four pound channel cat. Nice, healthy, uh, strong fish. But um, again, this would be a good eater, but I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in. Nice, that was fun. And now I believe I need to get that other pole back out in the water. But uh, I believe I got something, yeah, something running with this with this other line over here. Hold on one second. Still running with it. There we go. Hooked up. I'm hooked up again. Okay. Oh, lost it at the last second. Lost it at the last second. Threw it. All right, so that he uh, threw the hook um, right at the water, barely got a look. I'm, I'm gonna guess he was only about three pounds or so. So uh, I gotta rebate both these hooks, freshen them up, kind of running out of time. Uh, I gotta scoot up the end of the lake and help out with this uh, this kid's fishing derby so we can get the next generation of uh, master anglers and uh, crappie snipers and uh, fishermen in general, or fisher women, fisher people, fisher persons. Um, so we get them introduced to fish and hopefully hook them up. The, the, fish are biting this morning this this change in the weather I think has really been a good thing for us so I, I, I hope the kids are uh, pretty successful this morning so it'll be fun but right now I'm gonna bait back bait these poles back up with some fresh cut crappie and uh, see if I can pull in a couple more decent ones uh, before I gotta go all right y'all might think I'm weird some people like to fish with heads some don't I'm one of the ones that do let's see if I can get better lighting here it's a crappie head, not too big. Um, uh, I like the heads. Uh, there's there's usually some gooey guts and brains and whatever hanging out. Um, for whatever reason, I tend to get a decent amount of bites on the crappie heads. Uh, sometimes I hook them through the nostrils. Sometimes I hook them through the eyes or through the lips, depending on the size of the fish and the size of the hook. Um, this one I'm just going to hook through the top meat, just like I would one of the sort of stakes in the middle. Um, you can see that leaves plenty of that circle hook exposed and uh, and this is eh, not, not a huge crappie head but it, it does somewhat limit the uh, the size of the fish that's gonna be able to get this thing in his mouth so I'm gonna toss this out real quick and bait up the next pole about 20 more minutes I just got my catfish lines back out about 24 minutes before I got to run up the lake and help out with this kids derby um, I'm hoping I can get at least one more decent sized channel cat um, just for the fun of it, you know, I'm not I'm not keeping any fish today, except for one poor black crappie who had to be sacrificed to make cut bait. You know, let's face it, crappie are delicious, so it only stands to reason that catfish love them too. And another thing, you know what's been cool about this morning? Um, you know, there was some rain last night, or actually pretty early this morning, and. Um, the temperatures are kind of chilly out there, and it's it's still only um, not not just a little after eight right now, 
but I haven't seen a single speedboat. It's Sunday morning, I haven't seen a single speedboat um, or anybody tubing or wakeboarding or anything out here this morning, which is extremely rare for this lake in the middle of the summer. Um, chalk that up to another benefit of this little break in that hot weather. Um, otherwise, a lot of times, some of those boats will come out early because they like the flat water too, you know. But I've been enjoying the flat water. Now wait a minute. <laughs> okay. See, just as I'm saying that, just as I was saying that, coming around the corner is a ski boat pulling a skier. So, looks like I don't have the lake to myself anymore. And now we get to do the, ooh. And it just plays havoc with your catfish rods. and moves your bait around. God forbid you had one actually messing with it or looking at it and it was about to take a, take a strike at it. And you know, these waves come up and just jerk it right out of their face. Um, so I don't know, hopefully they're just cruising up the lake and they're not gonna turn around and make another pass at me. But as the day goes on, it just gets worse and worse with that stuff on the weekends. It's part of living on a pleasure lake, I guess. I steal my own pleasures when I can. Just got a strike on this pole here. That's the one that has the, uh, the crappie head on it, I believe. I remember correctly. And uh, it's a decent sized strike, but it might have just been a smaller fish taking a stab at it, not able to not able to get in his mouth. Look there, here comes my skiing my skiing buddies again. I can't say too much, it's their lake too. We're out here we're all out here to enjoy it. I like to take my my, my daughter and, and um, nieces and nephews and them too, and we like to do all that stuff too. It only irritates me when I'm fishing. All right, I think it's about time for me to start heading up the lake towards the jetty so I can help out with that kids fishing derby. It's been a good morning. Fixed to continue being a good morning. Helping to run this fishing derby. It's always good to watch kids fish. We're here at the Kids Fishing Derby. Here is the prize table. Everybody's gonna come away with something. There's some nice stuff out here this year.